Welcome to the Boys Room Kitchen. That's our name for now. You're with the boys. This is the uh, 150th anniversary. Um, if you haven't seen the first 149 episodes, it's probably because we're not very good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, today's episode, we're gonna show you how to make the perfect burger. So the perfect burger, uh, at least according to us, uh, having not done this before, is made with uh, short rib, you can see, which we have to take the meat off of said bone, but tons of fatty deliciousness in there. Uh, we got the brisket, very small cut, very lean. Uh, but delicious briskety flavor in that. And then we got sirloin with some more fat, some more beefy flavor, and just some overall deliciousness that's gonna- I love hog meat, oh what a sweet treat. Cook him underground or spin him on a spit. He's a yummy little piggy when you stick him in the chili. Y'all know why I'm a fool for hog meat. Oh, give me some hog meat. Okay, the next step is we're going to take our chunks of meat which have been put in the freezer for about 30 minutes. We're gonna split this up into thirds and we're going to put it in the food processor to grind it up. The meat came straight from the Ukrainian butcher. Very nice guy, Andrew. Okay. Andrew. Okay. Uh, Classic Ukrainian name, Andrew. Yeah, it's traditional, <laughs> very traditional. We can cook it nice crispy outside, the inside will be super tender, rare to medium rare, you'll see in a, in a little bit, it's gonna be great. It's no Wendy's, but it should do the trick for us. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, so we got here is the meat we ground up in the food processor. These are our patties right here. A little baby patty just to taste first because the chef gets hungry. Uh, but the way we're gonna cook these is get that cast iron skillet over there, rip, roar, and half and then just sear the hell out of either side of these. So what I have to do now, because Cody Rose forgot all the required accoutrement, is to go buy some tomatoes to ensure that our hamburgers are fully loaded up with the proper accoutrement. But at least this way you got to see accoutrement on the camera. Yeah, that's true. Au revoir. While we're waiting for our meat to settle in the freezer, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the toppings here so we have a beautiful white onion. Onions don't make me cry. we're going to be making sweet potato fries. So I just took one sweet potato, I chopped it up very thin in the form of french fries, and I put it in the freezer overnight. Because as you freeze it before you put it into the fryer, it actually makes it uh, fluffy on the inside and a little crispy on the outside. So this should be a perfect... Okay, and for the grand finale, we are about to piece together our wonderful burgers. So we... All right. You guys see that. Grilled uh, on the cast iron. And go here. And last but not least, we actually have this super secret uh, special sauce that I'll share the ingredients with everyone with. It's delicious. Uh, this comes with a, a, a homemade garlic aioli, which is actually very easy to make. That could be in our next episode. Also a fry sauce. Homemade ketchup. Not homemade ketchup, but I'll just say it's a lot of ketchup. And then uh, a sweet relish. And that's really it. You just mix it together, comes out with this beautiful orange, sort of like a Big Mac sauce, if you will. Oh, yours is upside down. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily the bottom bun is basically the top bun. All right. Cheers, friend. Cheers. I can't fit the burger in my mouth. How are you doing that? Mm. Like a, when like an anaconda it. dislocates its jaw, that's what I need to do. You just gotta squish it down hard. How is it? That's pretty good. The burger. You can taste the different types of meat that are in there. Well salted. Do you even get a bite yet? I'm actually uh, gonna eat mine off camera because I'm a little embarrassed because I'm probably gonna cut it up so I can fit it into my tiny mouth. <laughs> 